today's topic guys, I want to talk to you about something that can hold us back in life and that is the concept of, of course, limiting beliefs. Okay, so that's our topic for today, limiting beliefs and how to break them. Okay, so finding the root cause of your limiting beliefs and learning how to fight or break them so you can achieve your highest potential. So, what is limiting belief, guys? If you don't know what is limiting belief or hindi pa kayo sure, baka meron pala kayo nito, hindi nyo lang alam. According to Google, limiting belief is a state of mind or belief about yourself that some way, in some way, restricts you. So, these beliefs are often false accusations you make Kau mismo, tayo mismo, I make about myself that can cause a number of negative results. Okay, so these are thoughts that we hold about ourselves and the world around us that limits our potential. Hindi lang natin siya na-realize, but it actually limits our potential and prevents us from achieving what really our goal in life is. So, this belief can be sometimes conscious, alam natin sa sarili natin, but most of the time, unconscious din. Hindi tayo aware. And this can come from a variety of sources. For example, pwede nagmula siya sa mga past experiences na meron tayo, o kaya mga societal expectations. For example, Batang 90s, dapat may anak ka na. Dapat ganito yung job mo. Dapat working ka sa corporate. Dapat ganito, dapat ganyan. Diba? So, societal expectations. Pwede din na nanggagaling siya from our own insecurity. So, hindi man natin aminin. Pero we have our very own insecurity sa katawan. Yung mga niche na hindi ako para dyan kasi hindi ako magaling dyan. Pero nag-try na malaman, malalaman mo, kaya mo pala. Yes! Oh, I love that. Maganda yan. Pag-uusapan natin yan mamaya, John. Diba? So, another thing about limiting belief is that they can also keep you in a negative state of mind, hindering you from encountering new opportunities and life experiences while wreaking havoc on your mental health. So, they can manifest in different ways. For example, yun nga, sinabi ni Joan kanina, you might believe that you are not intelligent enough to pursue a certain career. Diba kasi sabihin, eh, cashier lang po kasi ako eh. Um, teacher lang po kasi ako. Right? So, hindi po ako pwedeng maging virtual assistant. Wala po akong alam dyan, etc., etc. Or possibly, isa din to sa mga pinagadaanan ko the past few months, you are not attractive enough to be in a healthy relationship. So, pwede ganyan yung limiting beliefs niyo. So, these beliefs can hold us back from taking action and living the lives that we want and we deserve. So, it's important guys to recognize that limiting beliefs are just thoughts. Nasa isip lang natin to. And uh, as I've mentioned kanina sa first slide, they are false accusations. So, they are not necessarily true. I'm not sure if you agree with me, pero just because you believe on something doesn't make it true. Diba? Minsan may mga paniniwala tayo. Aminin niya ito sa mga matatanda. Bawal magwali sa gabi, bawal mag ganito, ganyan. So, those beliefs are belief of older people. But it doesn't mean that it's 100% true. Diba? So, minsan nga maririnig niyo pa, wala na patay na yung nagsabi niyan. Diba? Yung mga ganyan. So, I want you guys to know that it is possible to change your limiting beliefs and adopt new and empowering ones. Okay? So, ano ba yung mga examples ng limiting belief? The first example that we have here is that I am not good enough. Can you please tell me in the comment section kung minsan naiisip niya to? I'm not good enough. Kata ka dito sabi ni Alyssa, I'm not experienced enough. Most of the time, oh yan, diba? So, I'm not good enough. This is a limiting belief that can be particularly insidious and damaging because it can really affect many areas of our lives. Hindi lang to sa work, pwede personal. And it might also lead us to hold ourselves back from pursuing opportunities and experiences that we are actually qualified for and capable of. 
kagaya ng sinabi ni Joe kanina, minsan naririnig natin masyado siyang mahirap, pero pag nalaman mo pala, kapag pala inaral mo, kaya naman pala. Right? So, some examples that we have here is we might avoid applying for a job we are qualified for because we believe we are not good enough to succeed. So, for example, naririnig na ninyo yung transaction coordination or cold calling, but you think you're not good enough, so hindi mo na lang siya a-applyan, hindi mo na lang siya a-arali. Sayang, di ba? Tapos malalaman mo in the end, kaya mo naman pala. So, sayang, if we are just taking the opportunity for granted, we will never know what we are capable of. And another thing is, possibly, we might not pursue a hobby or activity we enjoy because we believe that we will not be good at it. So, uh, I want to share with you, last night, I had a driving lesson. Ano lang naman siya? Atras abante, atras abante pa lang. But... When I was young kasi, I have this experience na meron kaming pwesto sa Balintawak. So, alam nyo ba yung Balintawak, guys? So, may pwesto kami dati dun sa Palengke. Tapos, bata pa ko na na super baguette. Siguro mga 6, 7, ganyan. Ganyan yung age ko nun. Tapos, meron kaming owner. Tapos, binuksan ko siya. Siyempre, as a kid, ba? Diba, masyado kang madaming naiisip sa buhay. So, nandun din yung key sa driver seat. So, trinay ko siyang buksan. Tapos, umalog ng ganun yung sasakyan. So, ngayon, every time na kahit malaki na ako, every time na sasakya ako sa sasakyan, tapos nag-vibrate yung sasakyan, nararamdaman ko pa din yung takot na yun. But, last night, kahit na kinakabahan ako at natatakot ako, at hindi ko talaga alam yung gagawin ko because I don't have any experience in driving a car, I tried. And, eh, hindi ko pa man na-overcome yung panginginig kasi kahit tapos na ako mag, ano, kahit pinatayo na ako dun sa driver's seat, nanginginig pa din ako. Hindi ko man siya na-overcome pa right there and then, I still tried. So, walang masama, guys. Walang masama na mag-try just have to try. Minsan kasi hindi mo alam pa paano kung kaya mo naman pala. Another thing that hinders me in mag-aral kung paano mag-drive is I always tell JP, wala akong hand and eye coordination. So, minsan gusto kong papuntahin sa kanan pero hindi na pupunta sa kanan eh. Napupunta sa kaliwa. So, wala akong ganon. So, natatakot ako kasi paano kung makabangga lang ako ng makabangga, ba? Diba? Or something worse, ba? Diba? So, pero trinay ko pa rin siya. Try ko siyang aralin and I'm really hoping by 2023 marunong na ako mag-drive, di ba? So, Mayroon nga magkaroon pa tayo ng sasakyan. So, yun. Another thing that I want to share possibly is my tutoring to VA experience. I don't have any experience when I started eh. So, I have the cinematic belief before. I might not be good enough for that position. I might not be a good enough virtual assistant. Kasi, ano ba naman yung experience ko? Galing lang naman ako ng call center. Hindi ko naman alam yung anong an gagawin dyan eh. Hindi ko naman alam kung anong trabaho dyan. Right? So, I came from the call center and nag-tutor ako sa 5-1 talk. Yun lang naman yung ginagawa ko eh. So, baka I'm not good enough for that position. Right? So, guys, this belief can be especially challenging to overcome as it can be deeply ingrained and difficult to change. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, nandusan na siya. Hindi na siya makaalis eh. Yung panginginig ko, kagabi as in super nanginginig talaga ako. Nandudun siya eh, hindi ko siya makaalis. However, I want you to know that it is important to remember again that this belief is just a thought and it is not necessarily true. Okay? So, I want you to know that we all have strengths and abilities, di ba? Yan yung mga sasabi na, teacher lang ako, cashier lang ako, lang, lang, lang. Meron kayong sariling strengths and abilities na hindi kaya ng iba. Okay? And it is possible to challenge. Challenge yourself, di ba? Challenge yourself na matuto ng mga bagong bagay. Challenge yourself na matuto ng mga hobbies na gusto ninyo, challenge ninyo yung sarili ninyo. Change our limiting beliefs in order to live a more fulfilling and meaningful life. Next limiting belief example will be, I'm too old or too young to learn something new. Meron po bang age limit yan? Yan yung lagi kang naririnig eh, na mga question. So, this limiting belief can be 
especially frustrating as it can prevent us from pursuing new interests and opportunities that could enrich our lives. So most of the time, we might feel like it is too late or too early in our lives to start a new hobby or take even a class. So we hold ourselves back from doing so. Meron ba dito sa inyo na gusto niyong matuto ng isang bagay pero you feel like you are too old for that class, for that course, or you're too young, etc. So, madaming mga virtual assistant na may edad na, di ba? Hindi ko man sabihin isa-isa sila, baka magalit sila sa akin. Pero may mga edad na sila and they are still working. And naalala ko yung pinanood ko yung YouTube episode ni Joey De Leon with Tony Gonzaga. Sabi niya doon, mahirap kasi pag-retired ka na, di ba? Wala nang oras yung pahinga. Parang, wala na, pahinga na lang yun eh. Tapos, maraming nagre-retire na maaga na nade-deads, di ba? Actually, if you are going to ask me, I don't want to retire early. Gusto ko lang magtrabaho ng magtrabaho as much as possible for the rest of my life. Hindi man siya for other people, but for my business, di ba? So, Meron din ako mga kakilala na mga bagets, mga bata pa. Like for example, si Sai. Sai is one of my VAs. Nagtatrabaho siya noon and at the same time nag-aaral. Meron akong nakilala sa, sa TikTok, si Brian. So nag-aaral din siya, right? So they are, they, if they are going to think that they are too young to achieve this, they, hindi sana sila kumikita ng ganito kalaki sa pagiging virtual assistant. So... Again, it is important for you to remember that it is never too late or too early to learn something new. So if you're scared of learning something new, then I believe this is going to be a message for you. Okay? So our brains have the ability to adapt and learn throughout our lives. And there is no age limit on pursuing new interests and experiences. So, I want you guys to know that it is never too late or too early to try something new and see where it takes you. Hindi nyo alam eh. Again, you will never know if you will never try. Right? So, again, don't let this limiting belief hold you back from learning and growing. Third example of limiting belief is I'm not smart enough. This will be for mga anak sa pamilya, sa loob ng isang pamilya, ba? Diba? So, this limiting belief can be particularly damaging because it can prevent you from pursuing opportunities and goals that you are actually capable of achieving. And most of the time, we might believe that we are not intelligent enough to succeed possibly in school, pursue a certain career, or take on a new challenge. So, what we end up doing is hold ourselves back from doing so. However, I want you guys to know that it is important to remember na intelligence is not fixed. Okay? Ako nga, mas, mas gusto ko yung street smart kaysa school smart. If maalam ka sa buhay, kahit hindi ka graduate ng ano, cum laude, kahit wala ka sa top 10, kung street smart ka, I believe malayo yung mararating mo in life. Okay. We all have the ability to learn and grow, as I have mentioned earlier. And just because you may not be an expert in something now, does not mean that you can't become one in the future. Always remember, yung mga masters, yung mga coaches, yung mga teachers, yung mga yan, nag-start din sila from zero. Okay? So, the same with you guys, right? So, ako, before I became a Reva coach, before I built Revasis, lahat ng natutunan ko dito, natutunan ko siya from scratch. I don't have any experience as a real estate virtual assistant before. Pero lahat ng natutunan ko all throughout my journey, dinevelop ko siya into a course that can help other people who want to become like me as well. Okay, so again, it doesn't mean na hindi mo siya alam today, hindi mo na siya po pwedeng aralin. Kayang-kaya nyo siyang aralin, guys. Pwedeng-pwede nyo siyang aralin. And malay nyo in the future, kayo na pala yung magiging coaches ng Rebasis. And kayo naman yung tutulong sa ibang tao when they ask you, paano po ba maging real estate virtual assistant, right? So, again, don't let this belief hold you back from pursuing your goals and dreams. And it is possible to change this belief and recognize that you have the intelligence and ability to succeed. Next is, I'm not talented enough to be successful. So, this limiting belief can be especially 
detrimental as it can prevent us from pursuing again our dreams and goals. We might believe that we do not have the talent or ability to succeed, so we hold ourselves back from even trying. Para din tong intelligence eh, ba? Diba? So, we are not skillful enough, we are not talented enough for that specific kind of job or position. However, I want you to remember that talent is not the only factor in success. If you have hard work, you have the determination, and the perseverance, this three can also play a significant role in achieving your goals. So, ako nakikita ko sa mga students, kapag hardworking ka, ba? Diba? Kapag talagang determined ka, pinipersevere mo yung career path mo, it's super impossible for you not to find a client, right? So, ang ganun din, nung nag-umpisa din ako, ba? Diba? Wala din naman akong alam, pero whatever it is that I'm learning in the course that they purchased in the past, ginagawa ko siya, ina-apply ko siya, and I did not stop until I get that very first yes sa client ko. So, it is possible to change the disbelief, recognize it, so that you have the ability to succeed even if you don't consider yourself to be particularly talented. I don't consider myself as matalino, I don't consider myself as magaling. I consider myself as hardworking. ba? Diba? Habang natutulog yung iba, nag-aaral ako para mapasa ko yung mga exam. Hindi kasi ako ganun ka-smart eh. Hindi ako kagaya ng iba na babasahin lang ng ganito, maintindihan na. Pero ako hindi. Hindi ako ganun. So I have to double time. Kailangan kong mag-work even harder than they are because hindi nga ako ganun ka-smart. Believe in yourself and in your potential and don't let this belief hold you back. Okay? Next! So, eto na. Eto talaga tamang-tama talaga sa akin. I'm not pretty enough. This limiting belief can be particularly harmful naman because it can affect our relationships and self-worth. We might believe that we are not attractive enough to be loved. So, we hold ourselves back from pursuing romantic relationships. So, ito, naranasan ko to this past few months. Like, I gained weight, tapos dumadami yung pimples. Kasi kapag na- nasa Zoom ka, hindi naman ninyo kita eh. Sa TikTok din, hindi kita yung pimples ko eh. Pero pag in person, madami talaga siya. So, there comes a time na bibili ako ng pantalon sa Shopee. Ang hirap kasi sa Shopee, hindi mo talaga alam kung anong size mo. So, yung pantalon na yun, hindi magkakasya. So, kahit na mahal siya, ipapamigay ko siya sa ibang tao kasi hindi siya kasya. And I feel na parang every time na ganun yung nangyayari, mas lalo akong nakahurt, mas lalo akong nasasaktan. So, I end up not looking at myself in the mirror, diba? or hindi na ako nag-makeup. Dati mahilig ako mag-makeup eh. Pag papasok ako sa zoo, makamakeup ako, makaayos ako. Parang nawala yun, nawala na ako ng sense na mag-ayos. Kasi I feel like I'm not pretty enough to be loved. Tapos minsan sasabihin ko din si JP, alam niyo ba meron akong, ewan ko kung natatawa talaga ako dito. Gumawa ako ng bumble ni JP, tapos ako yung nagsesearch ng babae doon. O ba? Diba? Super, super nakakairita. Pero talagang ginagawa ko siya kahit na ayaw ng asawa ko. So, yung mga ganong part, kasi may mga ganito tayo, ba? Diba? So, hindi lang kayo ako din. Nararanasan ko din yan siya. Remember that attractiveness is subjective. Ito lagi ko nang siyang sinasabi sa sarili ko. And what one person finds attractive may be different from what another person finds attractive. So, for example, one person find petite attractive. Yung iba naman, mas gusto nila yung chubby, ba? Diba? So, it is also important to recognize na there are many different ways to be attractive and appearance is just one factor, right? So, again, don't let this belief hold you back from pursuing relationships and being loved and believe in your own worth. Feeling ko yun yung nakakapagpaano eh. Kapag affirmations yan, lagi kong inaano sa sarili ko and somehow it really helps din naman. Again, hindi siya agad-agad mawawala. Nandudun pa rin yung doubts and, you know, negativity sa ulo mo. Pero, you have to fight it back eh. Kailangan mong mag-fight back. So, don't let this belief uh, define what your self-worth is. Next is, I'm not strong enough to overcome my problems. Meron ba sa inyong ganito dito? Sabi nyo ba ito sa sarili ninyo? Diba? So, this limiting belief can be particularly damaging as well as it can prevent us from seeking help and making positive changes in our lives. So, we might believe that we are not strong enough to overcome our challenges 
So we avoid seeking help or making changes. Meron ba kayong ganun? Ang hirap ba, eh, ba? Lalo kapag, ano ka, pag breadwinner ka, it's super, super hirap na manghingi ng tulong sa ibang tao. Hindi ko alam kung may ganyan ba sa inyo dito. If you are feeling the same way, can you please let me know in the comment section? Ang hirap kapag meron kang mga ganun. Like, how can I tell other people na kailangan ko ng tulong? Eh, paano kung kailangan din nila ng tulong? Mas kailangan nila ng tulong kaysa sa akin. Laging ganyan yung naiisip, di ba? However, it is important for you to recognize that strength and resilience comes in many forms and we all have the ability to overcome challenges and grow. Seeking help is a sign of strength. Hindi siya weakness, guys. So if you're going to ask for help, strength yun. Diba? It takes so, so much strength for you to ask help from other people. And it can be an important step towards overcoming our problems and making positive changes in our lives. Right? So, I have this before. Meron nga kasi akong ganong thinking. Even kay JP, hirap na hirap akong magsabi ng problema. Nadadala ko talaga siya kasi ever since I was young, kapag may problema sa bahay, parang mas gusto ko na sa sarilihin ko siya and hanap ako ng ways to solve the problem without telling my mom, without telling my, my brothers and sisters, without telling other people. Diba? So, Ako po, single ma- I'm a single mom. Nahihirapan ako magpatulong sa iba, right? So, we have this. We are experiencing this. Especially, again, if you are a breadwinner. But what, end- what ends up happening with my team is that nahihirapan na pala yung mga team members ko. Without me realizing it, right? Kasi nga, sa kagustuhan ko na isolve yung problema ng sarili ko lang, hindi ko alam na naaapektuhan na rin pala yung team ko. Right? So, I, I apologize for that. Pero hindi siya maganda kasi magkakaroon ng miscommunication, pabago-bago ka ng isip because you want to have a solution. ba? Pero hindi mo siya nako-communicate well enough to the team. So, what ends up happening is that nagkakaroon ng miscommunication sa loob ng organization or even sa loob ng family most of the time. Right? So, lagi ninyong pag-uusapan. Lagi tayong humingi ng tulong. Diba? Kahit one-on-one talk with your partner para alam ng isa't isa kung ano na bang pinagtadaanan. Right? So, I experience this the hard way. Don't let it my experience ng sarili pa ninyo. Don't let this belief hold you back from seeking help and making positive changes in your life. You are stronger than you think and it is possible to overcome your challenges and grow. And the last one Last example of limiting belief is I'm not worthy of love or respect. Ito, madalas ko itong nababasa sa TikTok, I think, tsaka sa Reddit. Yung mga nasa relationship na parang ginagaslight na sila, pero hindi pa rin sila umaalis. Tapos, binalikan namin yung Walking Dead ni Coach JP. Tapos, nandun si Carol, tsaka si Daryl, ba? May sinabi si Carol doon na kapag nasa abusive relationship ka kasi, minsan hindi mo mapapansin, parang sa kanila, they need the abuse. Parang ganun, parang nagiging part na yun ng daily routine nila. Pero hindi eh, diba? I want you to know that you are worthy of love and respect. Diba? So, this limiting belief kasi this can be particularly destructive as it affect your self-worth and relationship. So, minsan we believe that we are not worthy of love or respect, so we don't believe we deserve to be treated well. Kaya kung sasampalin ka ng partner mo, keri lang, or diba, kung, kung ano mang gagawin sa'yo, ayun nga, kasi nga abusive relationship siya. Right? So, sometimes we believe that we do not deserve to have a healthy relationship. However, it is important for us to recognize that we are all worthy of love and respect and simply because we are human beings. So, we all deserve to be treated with kindness, respect, and to have healthy and fulfilling relationship. Minsan kasi kapag yung first relationship mo abusive na, feeling mo yun na yun eh. Feeling mo lahat ng relationship ganun na. Diba? So, kagaya ko, kala ko dati normal lang na parang ikaw yung... Eh, hindi naman to ano, hindi to personal. <laughs> hindi to personal ha. Parang 
for example, akala mo dati, ano, kailangan talaga ikaw yung nagbabayad, ikaw yung babae ka naman, pero parang bakla ka na, di ba, parang ganun. Kasi ikaw yung nagbibigay ng kung ano-ano sa sa lalaki. Pero hindi naman pala ganun, di ba? Pwede naman palang halfway, pwede naman palang 50-50 kayo, di ba? Or hindi mo kailangan magpabahay. O, ayan, personal na yan. Hindi mo kailangan magpabahay sa jowa mo, di ba? So, yung mga ganun, kasi akala ko dati ganun talaga eh. Pero hindi pala. You deserve something better. And I'm 100% thankful for my mom. Kasi kung hindi niya ako inalaw na kumanap ng ibang jowa, baka yung pinakita si Coach JP and hindi ako ganito kasaya ngayon. Di ba? Iniisip ko pa ulit-ulit yan. Ano kaya ang mangyayari if I did not find JP? Di ba? Siguro iba yung course ng buhay ko ngayon. Siguro lang revasis. Di ba? Di ko makikilala yung mga beautiful daughters ko, right? So, don't let this belief hold you back from believing in your own worth. Okay? And deserving to be treated well. It is possible to change this belief and recognize your own value and worth. And believe in yourself and your own worth. And don't let this belief hold you back from living a fulfilling and meaningful life. 2023, sabi ko nga, ang mantra ko for now is, ako naman. Diba? I deserve this. Ako naman. Ako naman ngayon. Diba? For the past two years, I have been helping other people. For 2023, ako naman. Pamilya ko naman. Right? So, kayo din. Diba? Now, ang dami kong sinabing example kanina, but how can really one person can overcome their limiting beliefs? So, number one is you have to identify and challenge your limiting beliefs. It is an important step in overcoming them. And for you to do this, you have to start by identifying the specific belief that is holding you back. I already provided you with some of the example, right? So for example, you might believe that you are not good enough to succeed in your career. So once you have identified the belief, ask yourself where it comes from, diba? Did you form this belief based on past experiences or possibly may na-receive ka ba na messages from other people? that you are not good enough diba, to succeed in your career? Is it based on evidence or nasa isip mo lang to? Diba? The next thing that you have to do is to look for evidence that contradicts the belief. So, ano yung mga evidence na yun? Possibly, your clients are giving you good feedback. For example, if you believe that you are not good enough to succeed in your career, try to think of times when you have succeeded or excelled in the past. Okay, look for evidence that demonstrates that you are capable and competent. And this can help you start to challenge the belief and recognize that it is not necessarily true. Okay, kasi meron ka ng evidence eh. Hindi naman pala, okay naman pala, nakakapag-succeed naman pala ako. Right? So remember, limiting beliefs are just thought. Okay, nasa isip lang natin sila. And again, they are false accusation. They are not necessarily true. So if we are able to identify and challenge yung mga limiting beliefs na yun, then you can start to let go of them and adopt more empower, empowering beliefs about yourself and your abilities. So, identify mo siya, and challenge mo yung sarili mo. Find evidence na nagko-contradict dun sa limiting beliefs na meron ka. Number two, self-affirmation. This is what I'm doing ngayon. So, practice self-affirmation, repeating positive statements to yourselves, and uh, focusing on your strengths and abilities. Ito yung ginagawa ko. So, ito kasi guys, this can help to counter negative thoughts and beliefs and increase our self-confidence and self-worth. So, kapag feeling ko na yan, ano, ay, ano na to? Ang pangit ko na, ganyan. So, kailangan, tanggalin yon, Tanggalin yung negativity na yon. So, to practice self-affirmation, try making a list of your positive qualities and abilities. This can be things like, I am intelligent, I am a hard worker, I am a good listener. Diba? So, ulit-ulit. When you're feeling down or uncertain, take a moment to read through this list and repeat the affirmations to yourself. You can also try writing down the affirmations or even hanging them up where you can see them or setting reminders on your phone to remind yourself of your positive qualities. So, pwede nyo itong gawin, guys. Self-affirmation can be a powerful tool for overcoming limiting beliefs and increasing your self-confidence by repeating positive statements to yourself and 
focusing on your strengths, you can start to shift your perspective and believe in your own abilities. Next is seek support from other people. So seeking support from others can be an important step in overcoming limiting beliefs. So when we share our thoughts and feelings with others, we can gain perspective and new insights that can help us challenge and change our beliefs. So to seek support from others, try talking to a friend. Maybe you have a friend. Kung hindi kayo comfortable sa family members, pero meron din naman. You can talk to family members, or if you want, you can really find professional help like a therapist. Okay, about your limiting beliefs and how they are holding you back. So you can explain to them what you are struggling with and ask for their perspective and encouragement. Tapos, pwede din that they may be able to offer you a different perspective or even offer suggestions for how you can overcome your limiting beliefs. So, it can also be helpful to seek out supportive communities or groups. Join kayo sa Telegram ni Revasis, di ba? Kasi nandiyo dyan talaga yun, where you can connect with others who are facing similar challenges, right? So, these groups can provide a sense of belonging and offer a safe space to share your thoughts and feelings. I remember si Joan, parang nagsishare sila ng mga wins, di ba? So, kapag meron kasi kayong encouraging group na sinalihan, at the same time kayo din, might, you might be feeling lost, you might be feeling overwhelmed sa inyong journey as a virtual assistant, but if you are with a group na makakatulong sa inyo na nasa same pace kayo, na iintindihan nila kung ano yung nararamdaman ninyo, di ba? Meron kayong safe place na po pwedeng pagsabihan, pagtanungan, pagshare ng mga nararamdaman ninyo. Right? Remember that you don't have to go through this process alone. There are other people that you can find. Go to Telegram, join in Revasis, pwede nyo pa akong makausap dyan. Right? So, seeking support from others can be an important step in overcoming your limiting beliefs and living the life that you want. Next is take small, manageable steps towards your goals. So, this one, guys, it can be a powerful way to overcome limiting beliefs and build confidence for everyone. When we set small, achievable goals for ourselves and take action to achieve them, we demonstrate to ourselves that we are capable and competent. Ito yung ginagawa ko ngayon sa team ni Revasis, di ba, Alisa? So, we have this very big goal for 2023. If ilalatag mo siya ng ganon, kalaki, the team will feel overwhelmed, right? But what we did is, hatiin mo siya quarterly, hatiin mo siya monthly, hatiin mo siya weekly, hatiin mo siya daily. And daily, weekly, meron kayong na-achieve. And somehow, it creates this confidence in your mind that you are able to achieve this goal. Ngayon tuloy, kapag sinasabi ko sa kanila na ganito kalaki yung gusto nating ma-achieve for 2023, ang sasabihin sa akin ni Alisa ngayon, manageable naman siya, coach. Achievable naman siya, coach. Right? So, the rocks that you are building for 2023, huwag mo lang siyang gawing annual. What's your plan for the quarter? What's your plan for the month? Ano yung plan mo for the week? Ano yung plan mo for the day? For you to be able to cross out that rock, that goal that you want to achieve. Right? So, this can help to build confidence again and motivate us to continue moving forward. So, to take small, manageable steps towards your goals, try breaking your goals down into smaller, more achievable tasks. For example, if your goal is to get a promotion at work, start by identifying ano ba yung mga specific skills or experience that I need to acquire in order to, to be eligible for the promotion. Tapos, pagkatapos nun, kapag na-identify mo na yung mga skills and experience na kailangan mo to be promoted, then create your game plan. What's your plan for how you will acquire those skills and experiences? mag enroll ka ba? mag sbs ka ba? Di ba? Manunood ka ba sa mga managerial position? Makikiusap ka sa kanila na i-train ka nila? What's your plan? Right? So, Possibly, this can involve taking class, volunteering for additional projects at work, or even networking with others in your field. 
So, by taking small, manageable steps towards your goals, this again can build confidence and demonstrate to yourself that you are capable of achieving your goals. This can also help to overcome limiting beliefs and keep you moving forward. To work on our habits rin po. Yes. Daily habits. Ano ba yung mga daily tasks na ginagawa mo every single day? I spend two hours sa phone ko, nagtitiktok lang po ako. Ito ba ay makakatulong na ma-achieve or ma-cross out yung first quarter goal mo? Diba? Ito ba ay makakatulong na ma-achieve yung annual goal mo for 2023? If not, then stop it. Right? Stop it if it's not going to build confidence, it's not going to break your limiting beliefs. So next natin is to practice gratitude. Focusing on the things that you are grateful for can help shift your perspective and strengthen your belief in yourself and your abilities. Meron tayo dito na gratitude jar, di ba? Wherein you are going to tell what you are thankful for. Tapos, every single month, if you're feeling down, you can go ahead and check that, di ba? Tapos, tingin na kayo kung ano yung mga grateful for kayo. Practicing gratitude involves focusing on the things that you are grateful for and cultivating an attitude of thankfulness. This can help to shift your perspective and strengthen your belief in yourself and your abilities. So, To practice gratitude, guys, try keeping a gratitude journal. Ayan, journal or yun nga yung mga paper, tas may gratitude jar kayo where you write down three things that you are grateful for each day. So if I'm going to ask you today, what are you thankful for this morning? Right? Yun yung laging yung matanong, sir. What are you grateful for today? What are you grateful for yesterday? So, this can be big things or small things as long as they are things that bring you joy or make you feel thankful for. For example, you might be grateful for your health, you might be grateful for your supportive friends and family, or even a beautiful sunset. You saw, diba? Ako, I am thankful for the rain because ano ako eh, I'm a rain lover. I'm grateful for the aircon kasi hindi ako nainitan. I'm grateful for the internet because I can work. Even those small things, kapag very positive yung nasa life natin, it can really affect us a whole lot. In addition to writing in a gratitude journal, you can also practice gratitude by taking a few minutes each day to simply sit and focus on the things that you are grateful for. So this can help to shift your perspective and bring a sense of peace and contentment. Kapag puro negativity yung nasa ulo natin, iba talaga. ba? Diba? Ang pangit ng start ng day. And Alyssa knows this. ba? Diba? Minsan nga, pag nagsishare yan sa akin ng problem, bandang bullying yan, magsasabi sa akin, push, pasensya ka na, ang toxic ko, ang negative ko, alam ko, ayaw mo to. ba? Diba? So, may mga ganyan eh. Right? Ako talaga, I don't like toxic people, I don't like toxic problems, I don't like anything toxic. Ayaw ka talaga siya. So, by practicing gratitude, you can start to focus on the positive aspects of your life and strengthen your belief in yourself and your abilities. This can help to overcome limiting beliefs and cultivate a more positive and empowered mindset. Right? Okay, oh, sabi ni Alisa, huwag mo ko ba-block coach, ah, diba? Kasi ako talaga, I don't like, nakikinig ako ng mga stories, nakikinig ako ng mga alam nyo yun, mga thoughts, ng mga naiisip, but I just don't like yung parang makikisaw-saw ka pa, parang gagatungan mo pa yung nararamdaman niya. Ayoko nung ganun. I can listen to you, but hindi ako dadamay sa nararamdaman mo. Kapag kausap mo ako, ipupush pa kita into thinking positive compared to mag, ano ka, mag-rely ka sa nararamdaman mong masakit, sa nararamdaman mong lungkot, ba? Diba? Because I want you to fight your limiting beliefs. I want you to fight na ano ba yung mga positive things in life na pwede mong maisip para hindi ka na maging malungkot. Right? Super stressful na ng buhay. Kapag nagpa-stress pa tayo ng sobra, papangit tayo, hindi siya nakakaganda at hindi siya nakaka-fresh. So, no, no, no. Right? So, again guys, can you please let me know in the comment section what are you grateful for today? What are you grateful for this week? There you go, guys. Again, I hope this video somehow helps you identify. Because sometimes, 
in denial din tayo in natin ina-accept na meron tayong limiting belief ayaw nating tanggapin pero meron eh so you have to face it you have to identify it and you have to fight it back right because itong mga limiting beliefs na to hindi siya nakakaganda and at the same time hindi siya nakakatulong ma-achieve yung mga gusto natin ma-achieve in life. Kung gusto ninyo mauna kung ano yung mga topics natin for the month we are sending it every Friday or every Monday sa ating newsletter and you can also join our Telegram account for you to know what are the topics that we are gonna be discussing. Every Friday we have a free weekly webinar So, next week is going to be business planning. Business planning clinic and we are going to talk about economic model. So, balik na tayo ulit sa real estate. This economic model will definitely help your real estate professional clients. So, if you want to attend, I'm inviting you next week, January 13, same time, 9am to 10am. So, every Friday, yan again. Please do share this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day, everyone. See ya! Bye-bye!